Hello everybody, this is Chris and this is my channel Barn on 11970 and today I am going to demonstrate with you with a little bit of an experiment of how a thought can influence your physical being and affect you on a physical level. Now this isn't something dangerous or negative or anything like that and I usually do live shows but this one I wanted to make sure people can be able to be in the comfort of their home and this is an experiment where you can't be driving or doing another activity. For this to be totally effective, you would need to be either lying in bed or sitting in a chair or lying on a couch, somewhere you'll be able to close your eyes. So if you're not able to do that at this moment, what I would highly recommend is shutting off this video, waiting until you're home in a comfortable, safe place, and view the video there. So pause it if you have to, or come back and rewatch this when you are in a better location. Okay, so I'm assuming at this point you are either lying down in bed or on a couch or sitting in a chair, somewhere comfortable, somewhere you're not going to have a dangerous situation happen because I'm going to need you for this experiment to work uh, to be able to just be relaxed and ha be able to close your eyes. So for this to work, uh, participation is definitely going to show you how just my thoughts can affect you physically. And again, it's not going to be anything negative or dangerous. So this is what I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do is just close your eyes and just listen to the sound of my voice. And I want you to picture yourself on a, a tropical island and you're lying on the beach in the sand. And I just want you to focus on your surroundings and get yourself to listen to the environment. Maybe hear some birds flying overhead, hearing the breeze and the palm trees swaying in the wind. And you're the only person on the beach. So I want you to imagine yourself with the sun just above your head. It's shining bright. Uh, there's a clear blue sky with a couple of clouds. And you're just taking advantage of the warm, sunny day, listening to the waves, and just staring out into the ocean. And it's, it's abyss. And I want you to just realize first how peaceful that feels. So if you get yourself in that moment, just concentrate on seeing if you can think about feeling that breeze hitting your body, light breeze, and feeling the warmth of that sun caressing your body. You get to the point where you stand up and you decide you want to go for a swim. So you start putting your feet into the water and you start walking in. And I want you to feel the warmness of the water surrounding you feeling the waves gently caressing your legs. And you get to the point where you walk out a little bit further and the water is crystal clear. And you could see to the bottom, the sand, see a couple of little tropical fish swimming around you. And you just feel very happy and content, very peaceful. So you start walking out a little bit further and you get to the point we are now approximately chest high of this crystal clear, warm water, sun shining, not a cloud in the skies. And you look behind you and you could see your island and you could see you're the only one there by yourself, seeing the palm trees swaying in a light breeze. And you decide you're going to go underwater and go for a swim. So you duck under the water and it's crystal clear and you could see hundreds of feet in any direction. And you see all these beautiful tropical fish. And you're just watching yellow, red, green, blue colored fish all swarming around you. Very curious as to this new creature that's decided mm -hmm. to join in with them. And you just feel how amazing and how calm and how relaxing and how beautiful your surroundings are. And you're looking around as you're swimming around underwater. And you're going further and further out and you're looking at the corals and the plant life. And you see a crab or two trottling by at the bottom of the uh, sand. And you just realize how beautiful it is. And you just continue to keep swimming out, just totally enjoying the beauty of the surroundings all around you and how warm the water feels. And as the time goes by, you realize you swam very far out. And then all of a sudden, the clear water is completely black. And you rise up to the top 
and you realize you can't see the island anymore, that you were enjoying the swim so much that you didn't pay attention to where you were going, and now you're lost in the middle of the ocean. And you start looking around trying to get your bearings, but the current dragged you way out to sea, and you don't know where you are. And you start to look around. You dive back under the water because you felt something hit you in the foot and scurry out. So you look to investigate and you don't see anything in the dark, murky water. And then all of a sudden, about five feet ahead of you, you see a gigantic great white shark. And at first, it's just staring at you and you're meeting eye to eye. And you know... There's no way you can escape. And you're just staring at this gigantic creature as its dark black eyes are looking directly at you and starts to circle around you. And you try as fast as you can to follow along its path. And then all of a sudden, it disappears into the water and you can't see it anymore. So you think you're safe. And then all of a sudden you hear a noise to the left of you and you see a shark's mouth open wide going right for you. Now I want you to think about all the emotions and feelings that you just had. I want you to open your eyes and realize you are in a safe place. I did nothing physically to you. I'm not there. And we never got to the point that anything bad happened to you. It was just the thought. But notice all of the different sensations. From the joy of the warm water to the, the sounds of the ocean waves. To all of a sudden that fear of just being lost. Notice how you probably felt that in your chest. You felt that when you were alone and didn't know where you were, how that affected you. And you physically were either lying on your bed or sitting on a couch or somewhere in your home. The reason I do this is I want you to see how easily suggestion can influence your life. And how the media, how the education departments governments throughout the world, your politicians, try and steer you in a certain direction and cause, use fear to control you and guide you. The person that came up with the line of sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me, does not understand how wrong they really are. Because words will affect you longer and be more devastating to you than any physical problem because if you broke your bone yes it might hurt and yes it will do damage but it will heal and i seriously doubt if you break your leg that 10 years later you're still feeling that pain of that break it does go away but you can have a traumatic situation that maybe you witnessed or heard or had to deal with people saying very nasty things to you in your lifetime. Maybe when you were a child. And to this day, years, sometimes even decades later, it can still influence you. It should show that the mental can affect you physically and vice versa. The wonderful thing about the scenario that I placed in even if you felt scared, is the fact that you can control whatever happened. Because when that shark opened its mouth, you could have gotten in the, out of the way. You could have been rescued. It could have just disappeared or changed its mind. You can control the scenario any way you want because it's your story. All I can do is guide you, but you have control of where that story goes. You could have opened your eyes at any moment.
the idea is to realize, because like I've always said, you need real eyes to realize what's going on and how you have control of all scenarios. And the best that anyone can do is influence you through their suggestions. But those influences only work if you agree to them. So if you did get a little scared with this interpretation and my talking about the shark and everything, understand that at any moment you could have stopped it. Which means you could listen to this video time and time again and change the outcome of that video. Become the hero of your story. Just because I create a scenario does not mean you have to follow it. So when any government or any media or any education system gives you a suggestion, it's your choice on whether you want to feel it or not or follow it or not or change it or not. You are in control of your destiny. Because free will means that you can do whatever you want, and so can anybody else. But you ultimately have the power to control everything. But I wanted you to see how simple words can affect you physically, how they make you feel. And it's a person that's not even in a room, probably maybe not even in the same country as you are. So if you don't think words and sounds and suggestions can influence you, hopefully this will help you think in a different way. Now, I've done a similar video like this years ago, but it's been so long ago, I'm, I'm sure that video has been buried in my thousands of videos. So I wanted to redo it. So if you've heard that story uh, video that I've done before, that same scenario, let me know in the comments section. If this is the first time you've ever heard it, let me know in the comments section how you felt. And did you participate in the way I suggested? And could you feel the sun hitting your body and hear the ruffling of the leaves of the trees and feel maybe even that little bit of anxiety? But it's facing your fears. So even if you were afraid of water or afraid of the unknown or afraid of being lost, right there should show that you have control over that fear. Because better to be lost in the middle of the ocean in your mind than to actually have it happen. So realize that it's just a thought and a thought can become as real as you want it to be. So I hope you understand and appreciate what I tried to do. And I wanna thank everybody for participating and I look forward to hearing your comments. Nothing wrong with listening to what people have to say. But don't let it change your own point of view and don't allow fear to control you. Because like that story I suggested, you can change it at any moment. So thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe.